Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I have a project shared today and I didn't bring everything down that I used on this uh, pocket letter, but I guess first off, before I even say anything else, this is for Crafty Nita. So Nita, if you're watching this sugar and you wanna be surprised, I'm gonna give you a second to just um, stop watching. Okay, now I, in summary, um, I'm going to show you, I used other punches too, but this is from the Paper Studio. This is a larger daisy punch, and just show you all a little something that I do. Um, first off, is for, if you're working with smaller, you know, like a little tiny, um, flowers and that you've made or that you've punched out and you want to have some green foliage or something what you can do is just take your scissors and cut into the center of this and you already have a little leaf and then you can take your markers and put the little vein down the middle or other veins if you can get them on something so tiny. But I just thought I'd share that with y'all. And these are Martha Stewart scissors that I got it Tuesday morning last year. I like this punch. I used to attach the wooden pieces to that plastic. I used the this to that, um, this is the two-sided, double-sided tape that you can get that's normally $4.99, but Tuesday morning I got it last year for $1.99. These are the Tombow markers I used. These are for the veins. This is for, um, to try to make my craft paper look like bark <laughs> from a tree. And then this is for some of the flowers. I grabbed this from Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off, so it made it uh, $2.50. And I love these colors all year long, but especially at this time of year, they seem to be the most popular. I used the Miss Sparkle & Co. Uh, craft paper. This is very nice, and if you're like me, I just love working with craft paper. I really do. I was able to find these um, tags, beautiful mermaid tags with that iridescent um, silhouette from Michaels. And all of this was before my freeze. <laughs> And I had to go in there whenever they had this, the last time they had this um, for 70% off because I don't have magical paper with mermaids and um, unicorns. And I have some paper with mermaids that I got from Tuesday morning, but I don't have all these other goodies. And I think Everybody pretty much knows this one. This has been out a little bit, but it's a lovely paper pad. And I used this mostly for the tops of the packaging I did. Isn't she beautiful? She's lovely. I think they're gorgeous. Pretty, pretty. That's my favorite. Look how gorgeous she is. <laughs> And they did the mermaid scales in um, interesting colors in this. I think they wanted to be different. I like that one personally, or a greenish blue one, but isn't that pretty? Such a pretty unicorn. <laughs> I think that's sweet. And like I said, that's mostly for packaging. So here is the pocket letter that I came up with. Um, Nita wanted us to do a theme in magical, okay? And um, 
bless her heart, she did a pocket letter for me last month. And I had to, like I said, I didn't have a lot of these items, so I had to um, go and get them. <laughs> With the tag, all I did was put the bubble stickers here and then do a starfish and two shell stickers at the bottom and then picked up with the Tombow markers this, as close to the same color as I could. Um, let's see, let me see if I can get in frame properly. Um, the wooden windows and the door are from Joanne Fabrics and I um, the little gnomes that I fussy cut that are looking through the windows they are from that magazine that I showed you all that I worked with them um, when I did the pocket letter that was let me see April showers bring May flowers and that's why I purchased it and it had those darling gnomes in it so I fussy cut them out I did the, here's the craft paper, and then I did the Tombow markers to hopefully look like it's in a tree, you know? <laughs> and I have the little gnomes looking out because they're seeing a fairy, they're seeing unicorns, and they're also seeing mermaids. <laughs> so, on the first one, I also, um, I don't know if you all do this or not, but my scraps go into a Dollar Tree container at the side of my desk. And I don't always go right for a paper pad to put in smaller objects like this, uh, smaller pieces. So what I do is I go through that container and I found for, I'm gonna call it the uh, wallpaper in the back of the, of the um, little house they have made, the gnomes have made, in a darling pretty green, that polka dot. And then this scrap is from Butterfly Kisses. And that actually has a little butterfly on that wallpaper, quote unquote. These, I punched out the flowers. I made a flower pot and then took a silver pen to make a band around the pot. I think we've all seen little wooden pots with the bands around them. This is what I was showing you I do with the leaves, how I showed you that can happen very easily and doesn't take up a massive amount of time. Did the sable over here. <clears throat> Did stickles in the center of the flowers. And I don't know if that's showing up, that glitter. But then in the middle here, the only word I have on here is believe. And that's right there. And then this washi is from Recollections. And it has the books because a lot of the ways we know about fairies and unicorns and mermaids are through books. So I put that there. And then the second one, let me see. The second one, I got this. I've got this mounted on foam tape. I got this from uh, Target. And I actually used... This is the first time I've ever done this. I used the background of what the stickers were on. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I thought they were absolutely, it's beautiful and perfect. You know, normally I do the clouds and stuff, but I think it's lovely. And then I took my stickles and, well, I punched this out and then put my stickles on there. And I already told you about this. Um, instead of doing a wreath on the, Door, I went ahead and put just a one little flower and <clears throat> excuse me I have a frog in my throat I apologize and then this is done um, these pieces were already here but I wanted to make them black so that they'd look like rod iron and so I went ahead with my um, felt pen that's acid free and colored those this one is from, I think, Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure where that sticker is from. And then at the bottom, these little stickers of the mermaids are from Michael's. This is a flower punch, the doves coming to greet them. 
Then I did just a little teeny tiny seagulls, you know, it's just a little V in the background to come and see them also. The waves effect, I could not find it. I tried to bring it down, but Joanne's Fabrics had an embossing border that had that on it. So I embossed them to give that, you know, a wave look. I think it's supposed to be more like Rick Rack, but I'm using it as waves. <laughs> and then I took my inks and I took them, the smaller ones that I have from Tuesday morning and used those to get that effect. And then with the rock, I just cut the rock that these two were sitting on and took inks and also darken them in spaces because, you know, rocks aren't flat. And then in the center, this piece of green I cut out was also, I took my Martha Stewart scissors that actually cuts, I think, four cuts at a time. So you can actually take your fingers and make the grass stick out if you want. Put the little fussy cut, the gnomes behind there my butterfly punch, the purple to pick up the purple in here. And then I did a half, uh, did a circle punch, cut it in half for the sun and then put the stickle rays in that. So that's my gnomes and fairies and unicorns and mermaids <laughs> pocket letter. The card you all probably saw at Michael's, um, I don't sign a card unless I do it, um, you know, from start to finish. This was already done. I did add this sticker and this one. I did add the um, washi tape and glitter, but it says, roll me in fairy dust and call me a unicorn. <laughs> I think, I love that saying. I think that's adorable. And then real quick, um, I think you all know, I've already seen this because I've already done a video on these, but Nita gets these two um, tags that have to deal with unicorns. The tops, I thought you'd get a kick just out of the packaging. This is from that pad that I just showed you, the paper pad. And then some sticky notes. And this I thought was adorable, the mushroom that looks like a house. And then just again, bringing out some real fun 3D stickers for the tops. Top of this one because Nita loves her butterflies. This is all about butterflies on the top. Back to that darling um, rainbow top did have another star punch with all the stars in the background. And this is a little unicorn clip from Joanne Fabrics. And then I did gift her one of these fun items from, that's Heidi Swap, I think from Tuesday morning. And she has a shaker at the top and the star that I thought color wise, it picked it up beautifully. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today and seeing what I've been working on. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.